Uh, welcome back, uh, Bob Manu, and members of the Kenya Leadership Project. Welcome back, uh, YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Telegram. We are going to continue with uh, the grammatical structure in Kenyan. Now we will treat uh, future certainty. Let me show, give you an example with the verb, with the verb to, which is to come, future certainty. You can say to conjugate you say me to chung I'll come or to chung you'll come at to chung he she or it will come say to chung you will come va to chung you will come va to chung they will come in Kenyan fire you can say in Kenyan, you can say a chong tuo, which is still correct. In Mr. Ambang, where I come from, say me me tuo chong. If you say a chong tuo, it is still correct. So let's give an example of a sentence in the future certainty. You can say say tuo chong a kereye, nivebe tekwe kore murebu. Say tuo chong a kereye, nivebe we take back whatever we will come to your house on Wednesday. As a meaning, we will come to your house on Wednesday. So, Ekereye is your house. Ekere is house. Your house is uh, your home. Or we'll come to your home. Or we'll come to your home on Wednesday. Ekereye is your house or your home. We take back whatever. It's Wednesday. So if you say, let me highlight the sentence. Say, to chong a career, you buy with the record and whatever. We'll come to your house on Wednesday. Okay, that's it for tour. Conjugate the verb fear this exercise right here. Conjugate the verb fear, which means to wear or to put in the future certainty. In Kenyan, so I encourage you to pause the video, do the conjugation in the comment in the comment section, then come back and watch, continue watching the video. Let's assume that you have paused the video. Let's go and see and find out if you have it correctly. So this is the conjugation. Me chong. I will wear all fear chong. You will wear a fear chong. He or she or it will wear say fear chong. Say fear chong. Va fear chong. You will wear pa fear chong. They will wear. So let me give you an example of a sentence you can say Say Fie Chong Denaku You will wear the meeting uniform Denaku then is dress Aku is meeting So we are talk about meeting dress or dress meeting Denaku is a uniform meeting uniform So say Fie Chong Denaku You will wear the meeting uniform that is it. So let's do this one now. Conjugate the verb. Why? Why means to sing. In the future, certain tense. Why? Oh, oh, I'm not supposed to show. So I will encourage you to pause it, do the conjugation, and then come back. Let's assume that you have paused it and done the conjugation. How do you conjugate the verb quite? May quite chong. I will sing. Or quite chong. You will sing. A quite chong. He or she or he will sing. Say quite chong. They will sing. Va quite chong. You will sing. 
va kwai chong ko correction ye so kwai chong is you will see let me repeat let me highlight make kwai chong i will see ko kwai chong you will see a kwai chong he or she or it will sing say kwai chong we will sing Va kwai chong you will sing Va kwai chong he will sing so that is it for singing so that is it we'll pause here in our next section we'll do translation so I'll end here and then in the next video we'll do translation or oh, let me just say let me read the sentences to you so that you try and uh, do the translation and then in the next i'll read the questions and in the next video i'll read the correction so you have the opportunity to do it before watching the next video so translate it to english ayok aron chong neko that's number one two ayok ne yere ba kye chong denak den ko three Borose pu chong perong ebe. As three there. Pu is to live early. Ebe is bush or a farm. Four. The tea. Pa kwai ti chong tako. Five. O dak chong kebe ebe ku. Six. A young Afia Chong the Nekati. So these are the six sentences. We will translate the sentences in the, the next video. So I will encourage you to do the translation before watching the next video. That will help you a lot. So see you in a few seconds.